man, you know, we all knew this was going to happen, right? It's not as if we're so stupid as to believe that the SNES Classic Edition was going to go up for pre-order with some notice. I mean, yeah, sure, Nintendo told us earlier this month that it would be available for pre-order later this month at various retailers, but that then put it in the retailer's hands to let us know, hey, look, we're going to have SNES Classics available today. And when did that news become available? Today, after pre-orders went up. In fact... The frustrating part about all of it is that even if you wanted to go in person to a store to to order one, you know, say you had a local GameStop that wasn't open until 10 a.m., which is the case for me, and the pre-orders opened up in the middle of the night online, which, again, they did specifically on Amazon, and while that's going on, right, people are going nuts, I'm sleeping, Okay. I'm also a father, so I wake up, I'm making breakfast with my kids, I take them outside to play, haven't had a lot of time to check the internet. All of a sudden, I check and I'm like, oh crap, it was available to pre-order online already. I better rush out to GameStop quick uh, and get there right when they open. Well, lo and behold, I get to GameStop, I roll in around 10, 15, and the SNES Classic is already sold out. Now, you can call me a bad consumer. I mean... I should have known, right? I should have known that any day now, which I did know, that the SNES Classic was going to become available, and I should have been refreshing, and it should have been crazy, but I didn't. And I didn't know because there was no warning. There wasn't an email sent out yesterday. Like, GameStop, I'm a rewards member. GameStop could have easily sent out an email saying, hey, look, starting tomorrow uh, at store opening, you can pre-order the SNES Classic Edition. And even if the online orders had gone up at midnight, at least if I didn't get one of those, I could have went in the store. And the same is true for, for places like Amazon, Target, Walmart, pretty much anywhere that's selling the SNES Classic Edition. No one knew when they were going to go up. No one had any warning. And... Because of that, they sell out, and they were going to sell out anyways. We we all knew this. SNES Classic Edition was going to sell out at launch. And obviously, you know, the the big question is, how much stock is there going to be of the system after launch? You know, how how many units are going to be restocking the launch? But the problem with this, and the reason it's upsetting people, is without warning, it means that it left the door open for even more and more scalpers. Now, obviously, when there is warning, it also opens the door up for more scalpers. But we have to be honest with ourselves when we're talking about that. It, With more and more people fighting to get it, the chance of scalpers grabbing a whole bunch of them uh, would be slim to none. And now if you go over to eBay, oh my god, the listings for SNES Classic Editions are insane. There's hundreds of them. And it's just a sickening feeling in my stomach to know that that might be the only way I can get a hold of one. Now, we were critical of Nintendo for the NES Classic Edition and why the reason they discontinued it and when they discontinued it when they still hadn't reached demand. And I understand the idea of a limited edition product, but... Man, they promised it would be different this time. It still wasn't any different. It still sold out within minutes of being available. And, you know, the big change is going to be how often is it restocked and how many more units are they going to be sending throughout the end of this year. I don't know. Hopefully one day I'll just be able to walk into a GameStop and pick one up or walk into a Walmart or a Target or a Best Buy or a Toys R Us. It's just insane to me that it is 2017 and... It is still okay for retailers to just throw things up. Just throw them up without warning on a product you know is going to sell out immediately. And that's what sucks. If I had known ahead of time, went to all the various websites and still didn't get a pre-order in and missed out, the site didn't load, they were sold out, fine. At least I had a fair shot along with the millions of other people maybe trying to get your hands on one of these, but that's not what happened. Instead, the advantage went to people who happened to be up at the time, who saw their Twitter feed, who, you know, are scalpers and have been waiting for this thing to come out. The advantage was basically not there for anybody about, except those that were lucky enough to be awake at the time the pre-orders went up. And it's just a really frustrating thing. Uh, not just frustrating because Again, 
another classic system comes out that I'm probably not going to own. You know, I don't own the NES Classic Edition. I'm probably not going to be able to own the SNES Classic Edition because I highly doubt I'm going to find it in my area or online. And, you know, unless I get lucky and Prime, you know, Amazon sends me email and they have some available just for Prime members, that's fine. I mean, maybe I'll get lucky that way. But I am just incredibly frustrated right now that here we go again and i wonder how soon it's going to be before the idea of a classic system really starts to sour on people who want one because we all know either next year or soon thereafter there's going to be a nintendo 64 classic edition that's probably going to be 99.99 and it's going to be in super high demand. Even if, say it only has 15 games, but if those 15 games are like literally the best games, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Super Mario 64, <laughs> Golden Eye, Conker's Bad Fur Day, if they could somehow wrestle that from uh, Microsoft, and Banjo-Kazooie, and like all these other classic N64 games, if they bring those in the system, it's going to sell like hotcakes at $99.99, and we're going to be talking about the same thing again a year from now, about how retailers are just stupidly throwing up these pre-orders without concern and i i get it from their perspective it's a product they know is going to sell out so they don't feel like they need to let people know when it's going to be available for pre-order and that's fine at the end money is money and the retailer and nintendo are going to get their money either way but i just feel like we live in an age where consumer courtesy uh, should start to be considered, especially when you know you're already going to get the money, regardless how hard would have it been to shoot out a mass email update or to put out a, a tweet about it or something. Give, give some sort of warning it's coming. It really wouldn't have cost you hardly anything at all to do that. And it's the same thing with crossplay. Like crossplay isn't needed, but it's a convenience for consumers. And that's the same case here. This is a convenience for consumers who have been waiting all month like me for these pre-orders to go up it's just a frustrating thing here we are again uh i only hope nintendo was right and they and, and you know they said they were gonna have more stock of this and restock it quicker and i hope they're correct and maybe these frustrations are just pre-order culture and a week later i'll be able to walk in the store and pick one up anyways but uh until then i assume it's not going to happen and I assume we'll be fighting for these things all holiday long. Uh, Nintendo's probably again going to extend manufacturing into the spring and again cut it off before everyone who wants one gets one uh, because they do want to keep it a limited product. Uh, they like this holiday rush uh, for this, you know, quote unquote stocking stuffer and uh, it sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. This is the this is the part of Nintendo that I hate. And while this isn't Nintendo's fault, there's obviously going to be a limited amount of these available at launch. Uh, it's still, like, retailers, man, be better. Be better for the consumers that give you the money. Anyways, huh, I am a frustrated Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And man, I'll just catch you in the next one.